Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to try repairing this chainsaw. It is a still 009L. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I'm going to try repairing this little saw here. I believe that it was last year when I got this saw. Um, last summer, I think, actually. And it was given to me. And it had no bar or anything on it. It was like completely trash. It was the back of a truck ready to go to the scrapyard. And I uh, asked the guy if he wanted to sell it. He said, I can have it. So there it is. Uh, so last year this thing was running very well actually. Um, no choke. And there's no primer ball in this thing. But no choke. And no priming because there's no primer ball. First pull this thing would always start. Then... The other day, I put some gas down the carb, and it would not run anymore, so I'm not sure what the problem with it is, so, yeah. It's, the saw is pretty rough around the edges, as you can see, I mean, all the paint marks, and, you know, it's just really rough. What do you want to do there, right? It was free, and I couldn't resist it because it was still... Anyway, so last year, there's no boot back here, so I just put some wire, some steel wire around the, the wire, and I checked for spark yesterday, and it had spark. So, I don't know what the problem is. Okay, so I think I'm going to open up this carburetor here, open up this air filter cover, get to the carburetor, and see if I can clean that up a little. Cause that might be the problem i'm not sure it's an old saw so <clears throat> so this is what it looks like in there Sorry about my terrible angles. So, you know what? In here, it actually looks very moist. Like, everything's kind of wet. I noticed that the other day when I opened this up. was that everything was kind of wet. And I'm not sure what's on it. I think it's, it's probably gas because it smells like gas. But I'm not sure where it's coming from, though. Because everything is kind of a little wet. So I'm just gonna get a small rag. Yeah. Clean that up a little. So I think it's probably like a carburetor problem or something that is wrong with this right now. So, oops. I've taken this part once before because I cleaned this up once. Mind you, I've gotten a little better at cleaning carburetors since then, but. I think I'm going to stop the video and start time lapsing it because this is going this is going to go pretty slow. I'm not going to time lapse it. So I think I found the problem. So if I put a little bit of gas here, if I take a little gas and I just put it inside there and I just push the bottom piece over here, this little flap, gas does not go through, which is a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little filter out. Here that, that looked pretty clogged at the beginning, not really anymore, but still gonna just take that out, put it in that bowl. Now in here, you see there's like a little hole. You can take either push tip cleaners or like a little like a little piece of wire and just stick it in there. Try to clean it out and see if gas will pass through. So open a little torch tip cleaner thing. Torch tip cleaners are relatively cheap I find, so 
you get them for under 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And you just want to pass them through that little hole. Helps if you take the other side off, by the way. So. But just because of this, I'm going to put some gas down there and see if it goes through this time. Okay, perfect. So it's going through now. So I think it's probably just a filter problem that we're having. So I'm going to try to clean off this filter a little better. Even though it looks pretty clean to me, I don't... I don't, I'm not sure. So just put that a little bit in there. Now I'm going to put this back inside there. Also, tip to you guys, wear gloves when you're doing this. If your hands are dirty like mine, instead of doing it. Also, I find that the new nose plier tips fit perfectly in there and pretty good at doing it into small holes, but in bigger holes, the back of a Sharpie works pretty good too. So let's try now. So we got gas in. And I don't see it going down. Oh, there you go. So it's disappearing now. So gas is flowing through pretty nicely. So that's a good thing. I don't have to take apart the other side. Not very hard. I'm pretty sure there's another video on my channel about that. So I'm just going to wipe that off. And now I'm going to take some carpet cleaner. And spray it. Don't use this too much on gaskets. But this gasket here I couldn't get off. So I just left it on. But try to pat dry. So like I'm going to do here. Just take a rag and pat that on it. Just to dry it up a little. There you go now. So I'm going to put it back together. And yeah. Hopefully this runs well now. So put the. Put this on. So the torch tip cleaners worked and did their jobs a little. Very good tool to have. So, um, yeah. That's how you do that. I'm gonna turn the camera off, put it back on time lapse, and see how Okay, so I finally figured out this throttle system here. It was it took me like me and my dad. My dad came and tried to help me here. It took me and him like half an hour try to figure out that dumb thing the thing is i had it in the wrong hole at the beginning so that's why it was kind of hard to press the throttle i noticed so switch that up and hopefully this runs now i mean i don't know how much it's, i don't know how much i think it's gonna run but eh, we'll, we'll try it out if it doesn't run it doesn't run whatever Put some gas down the carburetor and see what happens. So I put the whole carburetor part back together. And next I'm going to put the handle back on here. Okay, here you go. So now, just going to make sure that's seated properly. Everything's good. I believe that's how it goes. And then put this over here. Wow, that is much smoother, I have to say. Oh, it works now at least. Um, just go this on. I'll open the garage, put some gas down it, and see what happens. Well, I'll probably put some Put some carbon char carbon choke cleaner here that I have was cleaning the carburetor with because, well, my gas is kind of contaminated now. Uh, we had a blow I had a blower that has no compression, and we just want to take the fluids out of it so we could put it on its side underneath this table I'm working on. And I thought ex I thought it was just regular clean gas and whatever. But end up being water, and so now my gas bottle. You can see that there's like a little bit of water at the bottom. Some put some. Wow, that is much smoother. So the spring over here broke. 
and I just took it off. Fuel line was pretty hard to put on actually too. I'm just gonna take a small screwdriver and push it on more. Just so that that, that does not come off. I think she's ready for a test run. Let's put a little squirt of that in there. And now I'm gonna open the garage and set the camera up for you guys. It's pretty wet up there. I mean, it's raining pretty hard. Switch is on. And I'll see what happens, I guess. Fired. So far, better than last time. Last time it didn't run at all. Put some more down there. So it runs now. That's good for me. Um, I did not think it would run. There you go. He's running, guys. Yeah, old little still. I didn't want to put gas down it into the tank yet, but she runs. And she doesn't run that bad either, but yeah. it's got some problems, such as when you lean it forward like this, like if you're, I'm gonna take my muff call up here. If you would lean it forward like this, it would start revving up. So that's pretty dangerous, I think. Anyways, let's put that screw back on. It runs. And I think I'm just gonna end this video here because, well, last time I did that, it ran. For the whole summer, till now, I think the carburetor runs again. So, hopefully that does it till next year. I've never used this saw before. I had a bar and chain from a like a burnt barn chain. That was crap from a. That was taken off a 170. We got a new barn chain for my friend, for my dad's friend, and uh, this was the old one. And just to say, I put a bar in it. I threw it on there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.